Get excited because the TV Week Logie Awards are back. Hello, I'm Jake from Jake Freeman TV and welcome to the 2016 Logie nominations and announcement. Now, 2016 is not just another year of giving out awards and celebrating the best of Australian television. It's the milestone of six decades of it as well. That's six decades of action, of drama, news, breaking world events, and of course, lots and lots of dating shows. Actually, now that I think about it, dating shows is all we really have. Dating shows and cooking shows. But enough of all that, because we are here to celebrate and enjoy this wonderful medium of Australian television as we find out who has been nominated, what it's like to be nominated, and of course, for the big award, the Gold Logie. I just, I feel, it's a feeling that you can't quite explain. I know it sounds cheesy, but it definitely is. It's it, it's cr it's crazy. I just I couldn't I couldn't expect from that from something like that. It's just amazing, and I say all thank you to Peter Allen and everybody involved in that for giving me this opportunity. Guys, congratulations on being nominated. Kerry, you won it last year. Where, where's the Loki at the moment? Where's it sitting? Ah, uh, it's in my front room of my house, in my study slash spare room slash where I hoard all my things. Yes. And is there any tension because you'll be nominated again against Waleed and a lot of other people you know, as well? I'm quite happy that he's nominated because it, like, it's a full-on period of time when you're nominated. Okay. Lots of media, lots of interviews, and now I can be like, oh, Waleed, I think you should do it. I've done it for a few years now. Happy to hand over. Well, Waleed, you won all the other journalist awards. How important, <laughs> how important is a Logie to you? Um, well, you know what? It becomes a hell of a lot more important <laughs> once you're nominated. So it's, it's funny, I was saying before, it's not really something I've ever thought about applying to me. And suddenly I have to think about it. And so, yeah, I mean, of course it would mean a lot. It's an incredibly flattering thing to do. And it's not every measure of the success of what you do, but it's a, it's one that is important, you know? So I definitely value it, yeah. I was, I was holding the award before. That is actually, if I can scrub it again, because this is the this is the closest I'll ever get to a Logis Award, I reckon, any point in my life. And it's actually uh, quite heavy to hold. So I'll give that back to you, mate. Don't lose that on the way home. Uh, I, there was definitely a family tradition for, of watching the Logies. My dad and I would watch the Logies religiously. And I would say probably in the last, um, you know, 35 years, I've probably seen all bar about three of them. Peter, how are you feeling about the Logies coming up? Oh, I'm very excited, mate. I mean, a bit of a shock, you know, that I, I missed out on being nominated for the Gold Logie. I mean, congratulations to Carrie and Waleed and all the nominees, but um, I guess when they ask you to host this thing, you're kind of, you're thinking, well, it means I'm going to be nominated, Jake. Uh, you know, I think everyone in the room thought that. And then when I, I didn't hear my name uh, come out of my own mouth, I was I was in a bit of shock. But I'm now, I've accepted it, I've moved on, and uh, I'll start my campaign for uh, next year's uh, uh, Gold Logie.